We kick it off a little Knicks because at the Garden last night, I mean, the atmosphere was just fantastic. I, I don't need LeBron James tweeting out about just how that place looked or, you know, and that's the way it used to be. I mean, when I was growing up a Knicks fan, and this is not old man, get off my lawn. I'm not old and I don't have a much of a lawn. But the point being is that I look at it last night at Madison Square Garden. It was an unbelievable scene. Brought me back to memories of watching the Knicks with Patrick and Starks and Xavier McDaniel, Derek Harper, who joined the program yesterday, Greg Anthony, you know, the battles, the fights, everything that had Jordan coming to town. I mean, that's what made the Garden special. That's what makes the Garden special. The fans, right? I mean, it really does. And last night, you know what? The fans brought it. The Knicks in the first half didn't. You know, down 13 at the half, the team looked absolutely dead to rights. Dead to rights. Trey Young had 20 in the first half. The Knicks couldn't really do much offensively. Julius Randle, who we, you know, gave him a little bit of a pass for Sunday night as he excused it. I mean, Julius Randle up at halftime had two measly points. I mean, he was downright terrible. Terrible. And this Knicks team was searching offensively. They didn't really have many solutions. So whatever was said, whatever the come to Jesus moment was for the Knicks at halftime last night, well, you know what? It worked. It worked offensively. And it worked defensively where they score, where they outscored the Atlanta Hawks by 22 in the second half. 10-1 run to close out the game. Win the game going away by 9, 101-92. to Even up this series at a game apiece. Get ready for Friday night down in the A. As Trey Young was yelling to the crowd, you know, see you down the A on Friday night. Well, we'll see. We'll see. But it was special. I mean, it was absolutely sweet. And a couple things you take out of it. Number one is, I mean, the Hawks are a soft basketball team. They just are. They wanted no part of going down to the lane and trying to finish at the rim. So you give Tosh Gibson, you give Julius Randle, you give Nerlens Noel, you give the physicality and the defensive effort, which held the Atlanta Hawks to 35 points in the second half, a lot of credit. Because the Hawks went out there, they shot 44 threes last night in a game two at Madison Square Garden. 44! Hitting 12 or 13 of them, that's it. I mean, how many times do you have to see Danilo Gallinari on the wing there shooting the three? Finally made one. I mean, it was 0 for his, like, first seven or eight. The Hawks wanted no part of the lane late in that game. None. None. They did a much better job defensively on Trey Young. Forcing him to go left. Everything that we've talked about, double teams at times, you know, forcing him to go left, making him uncomfortable. Don't allow him to get into the spot. And also, don't allow him to dictate that game late. And he didn't. So kudos to the Knicks defense. Twofold. Then you get offensively. Well, you needed somebody to step up, right? So it wasn't twofold. Julius Randle in that third quarter with the 11 points, hitting the three to kick off that third. I mean, that was big, right? But let's be perfectly honest. I mean, the two big offensive forces for the Knicks last night were two guys. Number one, Bullock draining the threes from the outside. He was fantastic, hit four of them. And the other guy being Derrick Rose. Derrick Rose was absolutely fantastic last night. Playing to the MVP level that he was in Chicago with the Bulls, and he's no longer that player. No longer similar style and fashion to the player that he once was in Chicago. But you know what? As a Nick with Thibodeau this year, he is fantastic. And he was great. And then you get to the head coach in Thibodeau, where, you know, as a Nick fan, I understand you read the tea leaves. Everyone wants to just absolutely rip apart and drill Al- Alfred Payton on a night in, night out basis. He only played five minutes last night, did start the game, but still. Second half for Tom Thibodeau to go out and start Derrick Rose in the second half was the right thing. As Rose went out there and logged the most minutes of any Nick last night as he played 38, 39 minutes. He was absolutely fantastic. Right there with Julius Randle. I think they might have played the same amount of minutes. So you give Thibodeau credit. And then the crowd. And when this team gets going, and that crowd is rocking last night, and we'll get into the, you know, the blue language that was used and, you know, Mike Green talking about it on MSG and then everybody hopping on social media about the Nick fan. You got to be better than that. I mean, uh, where were all those criticisms after game one? And I'm not saying it's right. I'm just saying it is what it is. And clearly the Garden wanted to drown out those chants toward Trey Young. They had some creative ones, but put the chants aside, right? Everyone gets caught up with them. Put the chants aside. Here's what you do know. The place was electric. It was fun. I mean, I was juiced after the game. I was nowhere near Madison Square Garden. I really was. 
Couldn't wait. Love the videos outside of MSG afterward. The Knicks fan rejoicing, celebrating. I understand. Listen, let those that go out there and criticize. Imagine if the Knicks were actually won a series or won an NBA title, what this city would go through. You know what? It's been eight years. It's been eight years. If I, as a Knicks fan, want to go over there and get overjoyous about a victory at home against the Atlanta Hawks, game two of the you know first round series against the Hawks, even up the series in a game of peace, and I want to celebrate and rejoice, I want to do some chants outside Madison Square Garden, let me do that in peace. I get we're not the Lakers. We're not Michael's Chicago Bulls. We're not Steph and the Golden State Warriors. I get it. We are the Knicks. And as a Knicks fan, if I want to enjoy it, I want to enjoy it. I don't care about the dopey criticism from across the country. I really don't. So what? It was a little bit over the top. Let us enjoy it. Do you understand what we've been through as Nick fans over the years? How embarrassing this franchise has been? All the bad personnel decisions, the bad draft choices, the the guy, the executives that step in stealing money from Dolan. Having no idea what the hell to do? Yes, Phil, I'm talking to you. The coaches that were inept, not Mike Woodson. So if the Nick fan last night wants to get a little overzealous, and obviously keep it civil, but wants to keep it, get a little overzealous after a game two victory against the Atlanta Hawks, let us enjoy. Because we're starving. We're starving. So the videos after the game were absolutely fantastic. And what you've learned about this team is this. Even in a game, as you saw last night, now we're seeing this team go through this playoff experience for the first time together. But what you learned about this team during the course of the regular season is that there's no quit. There really isn't. Breen said it best at the end of the game, the toughness, the grit, the desire of this team makes them easy to root for. And he's dead on correct. We've been saying it time and time again. They're not the most talented group. They're not. But they all fit really well together. They understand what they need to do in order to be successful. And last night at the Garden was special. It was great. Place was rocking. The Knicks rallying from 13 down. Holding the Atlanta Hawks to just 35 points in the second half. Getting the performance of... Derrick Rose kind of dipping his toe into the fountain of youth, playing like he did with the Chicago Bulls. Seeing the performance of a a Julius Randle in that third quarter. Seeing Bullock draining threes. I mean, the Knicks hit 10 threes, 10 or 11 threes in the second half. The defense was great. It was a touch of the new with the threes and a touch of the old with the defense and the physicality. That's what made last night special. It was an ode to the Nick teams of the past where you know their deficiencies. You're not, you know they're, they're not superiorly talented, but they're ours, right? They're ours. And what I mean by that is as fans, you embraced it. You know Bullock's not the best player in the world, but when Bullock gets hot from three, you know what? You love it, especially on that wing. He's great. And the Knicks needed it last night. And here's the other thing you love about this team is this. Randall wasn't great offensively, and I was dead wrong. I thought Randall would have a superior offensive game last night, and he, and he didn't. And Landon's doing a nice job defensively and joking around on social media last night at halftime. It looked like Julius Randall lost his game between the end of the regular season and the beginning of the postseason. But when they needed him in that third quarter, he gave him 11. He only finished the game with 15. But in the end, it was his teammates that came out and picked him up. Barrett, how good was Taj Gibson's 30 minutes last night? Bullock draining the threes, and Derrick Rose was exquisite. 